channel so today we're talking about my most favorite subject of all weaves <laughs> so if you want to know all about my weave all about the weaves that i've had all about the weaves that i'm currently wearing all about how i put my weave in and all about where to get a weave keep watching this video all right so first off here's my real hair <laughs> you ask me why i don't wear my real hair well a picture speaks a thousand words, so there you go. Somewhere between a chili bowl and a mullet, here I am. Before we get started with this lesson, let me just read you the definition of a weave from the Urban Dictionary. Weave. A form of hair extensions, often used by black women and celebrities, is woven or glued into the hair from the track. If done right, it comes out cute. It may even look real if it's done real good. <laughs> So let's first start talking about the kinds of weaves that I've had. So you've got the typical kind of weave that a lot of people have. This was the first type of weave that I wore. In high school, you'd go to Sally's Beauty Supply and you'd get you a box of weave. And it looked something like this. So these are the tracks that you just tease that little piece of your hair, put in with the clip, and snap. So a lot of you watching probably have this type of extension. Type number two that I had, and Lord have mercy, if I could have all the money I spent on this weave back, I could buy a house. So I got the Great Links, Great Links was the brand that I used, but these little tiny strips of bonded extension. They have this type of silicone thing on the end. They melt that to your actual hair. As you can see, I used to have a bit of color in my hair. I used to get seven bundles of this, which is like unheard of. That is so much wave. Then about four years ago, I discovered the tape extension. So the tape extension is where you'll have two wefts of hair. You'll put your tape between them, like a clear tape, and then you sandwich a piece of your real hair between this. And I, this one's a green hue from a shampoo I use in Thailand. <laughs> so about two years ago, on the worst day ever, I took all of my extensions out and I left my real hair and I was left being like, what am I gonna do? That is when I found which is my favorite of all the weaves that I've worn, the Halo. So this is what I wear every single day. You guys ask questions about this all the time. It's Halo Couture is the brand that I use. The style is F112. It's the single layer extension. You can get a really layered one, but in my opinion, that one's a lot, that's a lot heavier, it's too heavy. This starts kind of digging into my head whenever I wear it really heavy. So this is the, I believe, 16 inch. That's the one I got. This one's about a year and a half old. I wear this every single day. So this one's getting a little ratchet. So I really need another one. I also bought it in the longer length and I haven't worn this one as much so you can see this one's still kind of got that silky look to it and feel. So once you get these, when they come out of the box, you really have to get them layered so they blend with your real hair, especially if you have real hair like not much real hair like Big Mama has. So they'll take their razor and they'll just kind of blend that in, blend that in, blend that in to where it's thinner at the bottom and it layers up to the top. Also, another thing, so if you wear your extensions every single day like I do and don't really wear your real hair, you want to make sure that the ends of your real hair are not blunt cut. So when you get a really like fresh blunt cut, if you don't have those kind of like fuzzy edges, your hair is going to tend to not blend as well with your extensions. Now I'm going to show you how to apply it. So I'm going to be applying my halo today because of all the extensions I've talked about. This is my go-to, my ride or die hair extension. So what you're going to do first, you're going to need to like fluff that real hair up a little bit. So my very, very favorite product, the Oura Bay Dry Texturizing Spray. I'm going to take my ring off because I don't like to get all that out of in my ring. And you're going to spray the root of your hair. And then you're going to scrub it. Okay, so I've got a lot of that texturizing spray in there. It's feeling like kind of rough, a little bit thicker. I'm then gonna brush through my hair. And then I'm gonna curl my real hair. So this is really, really important to curl your real hair, real hair correctly whenever you're doing an extension type of look. So I'm using this Hot Tools, uh, I think it's probably an inch, ow! An inch and a half barrel curling iron. And it's clearly hot. And I'm going to curl my hair away from my face. I'll start on the left side of my hair. And I'm barely going to hit that hair. And at the end, I pull it so that the end of this is flat. You never want the end of your real hair curled when you want it to blend with your extension. 
So then I take the next one. This is literally like all I do to my hair every day. See, I'm just curling the middle part. Pull it out. See the end of that hair? Fly it. I've got this real hair curled. That's all that you need to do with that real hair. Now you can go in and you can tease it just a little bit. Looking great. Okay, so I'm actually gonna apply two weaves because I've been known to wear two weaves, okay? Okay, so if you're applying one weave or two weaves, you're gonna use the same method. So this is the longer weave, this is the shorter weave. I'm gonna put the shorter weave on top of the longer weave. Then you will brush the weave. And then you will apply it. Oh, wow. Okay, so what you're gonna do, I take my two pinky fingers right here and I tighten that weave up like so. So I pull this tight. I place it about an inch and a half from my hairline, and I squeeze it onto my head like so. I pull all that luxurious weave to the front. Then I take a rat tail comb, any type of rat tail comb. If you do get the Halo Couture, which if you have a beauty salon in your area, you can go to Halo Couture, I think, .com and see if there's a place in your area that does it. These ones come with this little comb, but you can get this little comb, in a, comb out of Walgreens. Look at that. And then you're gonna go all the way around, all the way around. Now, if you're just wearing one weave, obviously you're not gonna have this much hair, but you're gonna have a lot of hair. You guys see me like in my pictures every single day. Looks like I have a lot of hair. People can't even believe I wear a weave, except for I take it out for everybody. I need to stop doing that. You can pull it through with your hands also, like if you don't have a comb, but here's where the comb is really gonna help you. Especially if you're wearing two weaves, while you're putting it on and pulling that hair through, it can slip back a little bit and like slip into its place and see what you'll have. You'll have it like pulling your hair back just a little bit. So here's what you do. You take your comb, take the end of it and kind of pull it through. But I like to take the tip of the comb like that and brush through it so you've got that kind of like flawless, you can't see anything type of finish. So you just keep on working it through. With one weave, it, this doesn't take near as long. You can blend it much easier, but with two, that little string's holding up a lot of light. Then I'll take a real brush and I'll brush that real hair into that extension hair. I feel like my little pony. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Can't nobody grab a hold of this hair though because it would come right off. Sorry, Prince. <laughs> you can use any type of product, any type of shampoo, conditioner. I wash my weaves, I'd say about every six weeks. And you know what I used to do that you're not actually supposed to do? I used to wash it and blow dry it. You're not supposed to blow dry it. So you want to hang it onto a hanger, like with two little clips, and let it air dry. It's going to air dry kind of like crinkly. And then you can straighten it and curl it and stuff like that because apparently blow drying like really ruins it and does not extend the life of your weave. And you want to extend the life of your weave. These are going to run you about three something, I'm pretty sure is what these halos are. I can't even remember because I bought these like two years ago. But, and then you can take your weave, you can adjust it. You can adjust it if you want more hair on this side, which a lot of times like I pull my hair to one side. Y'all, this is a lot of weave. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, my personal favorite. So, I really love to do this little like top knot, like half updo thing. So all I do literally every single day, I pull that little section of hair up, I comb this side down so you can't see that extension or that um, little string. That side down, I take a little tiny clear rubber band. So these are from Walmart, Walgreens, anything. And literally all I do is this. And it's so easy. So see, this weave blends so well, so like seamless. I swear, I just love a weave. If somebody was doing a weave in a Big Lots parking lot like that I didn't even know and was like, weave, I would still get it. Like, I don't care who does my weave, I love, I love. Okay, and you're also probably going to want to see the back of this weave, so.
You can tease this part like up here. You can see like my root is kind of showing through a little bit, but the back of it also blends really well. And I mean, like how many levels up glam did I go when I put this weave in? Like a weave is just like so important to looking really glam in my opinion, unless you're like a beautiful mermaid that has this kind of hair naturally. I love you, I do, you're so lucky. <laughs> So I hope I answered all your weave questions today. If I didn't, leave them below. I hope you guys loved this quick little weave video. <laughs> As you can tell, I get real giddy talking about a weave. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below, and thanks so much for watching.